Federal investigators are scouring the crash site at Denver's airport trying to determine why the Continental jet went off the runway over the weekend. CBS News correspondent Thalia Shuris is in Washington, D.C. with more. Good morning, Thalia. Good morning, Harry, and it will take quite some time to determine exactly what caused the crash that left 38 people injured. But investigators have plenty of evidence to deal with, eyewitness accounts, and data from the black boxes. A closer look Monday revealed the plane's right side completely scorched. Melted plastic covering seats, the left engine sheared off. All evidence of Flight 1404's violent skid off the runway. The aircraft's two black boxes, covered in soot but intact, are expected to reveal what went wrong. 41 seconds after brake release, there became a bumping and rattling that started and that continued through the end of the recording. 45 seconds after brake release, a crew member called for a rejected takeoff. So we have very good data there. We should be able to get a very good idea of what happened on this flight. The Boeing 737 was taking off on a clean runway when it suddenly veered left. Officials report strong wind gusts from the west, but the plane's sudden turn into the wind appears to rule out wind shear as a cause of the crash. The plane then slid across a taxiway and smashed into a 40-foot ravine. From the time that the aircraft departed the runway to its final resting point was 2,000 feet. All 115 people on board survived the crash and the fire. We saw the engine explode on the right side. It started off as smoke and then it just went, you know, then all you saw was fire. Now, the FAA says the captain and co-pilot have clean safety records. Investigators will be interviewing them, and they do expect that in time, Harry, the two will be able to provide a much better picture of what happened. All right. Thalia Shuris in Washington this morning. Thanks. Harley Carnes, a CBS News aviation consultant, with us this morning in the studio. We'll listen to uh, what has been said thus far. What do we know so far? What, what, what are you thinking may have happened Saturday evening? Um, we're not able to say what it was. But one thing we know, at least this much, mm -hmm. it's mechanical. Right. You know, because 41 seconds into the takeoff roll, what you expect to hear is a good smooth engine. Right. Nothing else. How many, once you get on the taxiway, how long does it take for a fully loaded 737 to get up in the air? And just shortly, more, you know, about as long as it took. I mean, it was, they, were ready, they were ready to go. Right. Uh, the, the aircraft accelerated to about 137 knots. Right. And that's, a, that's roughly That's about time that for that's the thing to right. take off. That's so right. So there was something clearly that they said, we don't want this plane to leave the ground. Sure. And the first thing they did is back on the throttle. Right. Which is what you do. Both hands are up there, you know. Yeah. And it's time to come back on the throttle. And they clearly went into thrust reverse. Right. Now, the first thought that may come to mind is that perhaps one thrust reverser deployed more than the other. Which would We'd have, be like throwing out an anchor on the left side. Sure, all of know, a sudden that plane then has a reason swerve. to veer so far left off that runway. And it would be hard to stop. Yeah. And it would be hard to stop. Right. It's, this is pretty unusual. I mean, it happens from time to time. You and I have both mm -hmm. been f flown plenty. All of a sudden you're going down the runway and the guy, nowhere close to 100 knots. Right. The guy says, you know what, we're just going to go back and try this again or we need to go back and check something out. Sure. We call it being spring-loaded. Mm -hmm. Spring-loaded to either abort the take off on the, during the takeoff roll right. if something goes wrong or spring-loaded on the approach to go around. You know, you always have to be ready for what might go wrong. So in this case, 41 seconds into it, they're hearing, maybe even feeling something that isn't right. Right. And so what, what, four seconds later, they say, let's abort this thing, let's yeah, stop. Right. And they're going fast. It makes it a challenging thing anyway. Indeed, indeed. And of course, they're still to uh, interview the pilots about this. Sure. Harley, thank you so much. Good to see you. Yeah.